couple of weeks ago I returned from about 10 days holiday and came into the apiary and saw some really unusual activity on the front of all of our hives there was bearding up above the, the entrance and there was this frenetic uh, grooming activity going on the bees were sort of shimmering in the light I'd never seen it before and on close inspection I just thought I caught the side of something on one of the bees and it wasn't until I put her under a microscope that I just about had a heart attack because what I spotted was was a mite it wasn't a varroa destructor I was sure of that but I was really concerned that it might have been a, a trophy mite now these are mites that by all report going to be much more devastating to bees than the varroa destructor which is kind of hard to believe Anyway, closer inspection, I noticed that these mites were over every bee around the entrance and there were thousands, if not millions, and then I could see them crawling around on the foliage underneath the, the hive. That's when I thought, oh, maybe we've got pollen mites. Now, pollen mites aren't common. They're not very often seen. In fact, the last time they uh, sort of documented was in about 1994. Not far from here, probably 30 or 40 k's is the as the bee flies to the north of us. And sure enough, that's what they turned out to be, much to my relief. But what did that actually mean? What were these mites doing? Were they a parasite of the bees? The, the bees were clearly in a state of distress. Some of them had hundreds of mites on them, mainly around the, their hairy thoraxes, but they didn't seem to be burrowing into the, the bees at all. I did find a few dead bees on top of hives that had really high mite loads all over them. I also looked through some of the hives just to see what the load was like inside the hives and they were definitely in there. I could see them on bees but not anywhere near as heavily infested as the ones that were on the outside of the, the boxes. I went through and looked on several queens because I was interested to know whether the mites were getting onto any of the queens. I couldn't see them on any queens. They weren't uh, in any great numbers on the brood. So one thing I did note in the DPI book, they, they mentioned that the uh, broadleaf paper bark and, and a type of Kwandong tree was flowering at the time in 1994. I thought I knew that our blue Kwandong trees had been flowering really heavily this year and producing quite a lot of nectar and pollen. So I pulled down some of the flowers and shook them out and sure enough the flowers were just loaded with these pollen mites. So evidently the bees that were feeding on the blue Kwandongs were getting right up inside the flowers and getting themselves covered in these mites, flying them back to the, the hives. The good thing I can report is that within about four or five days I came back and I couldn't find a single mite anywhere. So they disappeared just like that. It coincided with the Kwandongs dropping all their flowers and there were no more mites. It appears to me that one, they don't reproduce inside the, the hive and two, they don't really have a major detrimental effect on the colony, even though I can imagine that it would have interrupted their, their foraging as they, the bees that were covered in them were, were more interested in trying to get them off themselves than maybe going out and, and foraging. So kind of interesting to, to see this, this unfold and a big relief that they've gone. They seem to have disappeared. We'll see what happens next year. So that's the story of the pollen mite. I'll put some more info in the caption below. Let me know if you've had any experience whatsoever with them. The anecdotal evidence is that they don't really have much of an impact on the bees. Just more likely to give the beekeeper a bit of a heart attack when they spot them for the first time.